All right, we got you a great video coming from Rock House Gun and Pong. Y'all stay tuned. Like I said in the pre-intro, we are at Rock House Gun and Palm. That's at 5430 Highway 19 North in Meridian, Mississippi, 39307. And the phone number is 601-485-5895. They are a fully licensed FFL following all federal, state, and local laws. I'm not selling any firearms in this video. I just wanted to show you a little bit of what they have. I do not work for them. I just wanted to clear that up. I don't work for uh, our I'm not employed or work for Rock House Gun and Pawn in any way. Um, let's see, what else I want to say? Thank you to all the previous viewers and subscribers for coming back. All new viewers, remember, hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Hit that bell for notifications because you don't want to miss anything that happens here on R4 Mississippi Thunder. So, let's get into the video. All right, we got one today that I couldn't resist doing when uh, it was mentioned to me. I know a lot of you don't like the bullpup design of firearms but this is the springfield hellion now um this is chambered in 556 and yes it does take not glock mags ar mags those uh armor light rifle mags it takes those it's chambered in 556 now the bullpup configuration if you're not gun savvy or don't know what bullpup means it means that you're going to have the action, <clears throat> the action and the magazine are going to be behind the trigger. That's what bullpup basically means. Action is behind the trigger, where most of your actions are in front of the trigger. This action, uh, this action is behind the trigger. Um, what that allows for is it makes a uh, extremely short overall length with a full length barrel. Okay, so you can see with the chamber and action starting here. You hit this one in particular is a 16 inch barrel. I do believe I had to get the tape out and measure that. It looks like a 16 inch barrel, but the action starts here, 16 inch barrel. Now, if you had a regular rifle, non bullpup, you would have all of this. So from here <laughs> would start and you would have that extended back you know here and then this would be this would be here and then this would be on the back of that so you add your length there but by having the action here therefore it's called the bull pump all right ambidextrous controls all throughout it has a non-reciprocating ambidextrous charging handle so you can see that you uh it's the bolt is locked open so that's why the it's sliding back and forth right now but you can flip that to either side to manipulate that all right we have the safety you can see there i'm flipping it on this other side it is ambidextrous safety okay the magazine release is located right there let me show you that nothing in the chamber nothing right there in the chamber magazine is empty Put this in there you're and it, it looks a little crazy but your magazine release is going to be right there and so you can grab that with either hand can you get that do it again there it is yeah. right there, that little tab right there mm -hmm. so you can do that with either hand so that makes it ambidextrous all right i'm gonna go ahead since we know it's empty i'm gonna go ahead and drop the magazine okay your slot um Slide release or bolt release is right here. So that can be activated from either side, you know, and it sends your bolt home. Now something else is, you see the inject ejection port is over here. There is also, you can change it over and put the ejection port on this side. So this is, like I said, totally ambidextrous for right and left hand shooters. So you can put it however you shoot, you know, or you can 
swap it up, you know, if you are a lefty and close this side off and eject out the other side. So that will make it totally ambidextrous like that. Okay. Full 1913 Picatinny rail on top. Now the sights, it has iron sights that are integrated. If you notice, they're not bolted onto the top of the Picatinny rail. They're just push button and they're built into the Picatinny rail. So you push them, flip them up and push again to flip them down. Okay. It even says press right there. Press. Okay. And it is uh, the elevation adjustable there and you have your windage adjustable there. Also, you have your different size, you know, uh, precision. You know, you got the smaller little peephole for more uh, precise shots. Okay. <clears throat> Spring loaded, five position buttstock. Let's just kind of coat it. Push that in and it wants to pop out. It's, it's got that spring in it, so it's five positions. You know, you can adjust it in wherever you want it. It has a cheek riser. There you go. <laughs> there it is. So you raise it up a little bit to get you a better lined up with your optic of choice there. All right, well, that was a little fumbly there. Let's see. Polymer furniture. This is this uh, this is actually let's see it accepts AR any kind of AR hand grips you know that has a little compartment in there for your Skittles or M&Ms while you're out on the range. But this is the let me get this right before I tell you the wrong thing. This is the Bravo Company US uh, BCM Gunfighter Mod Three, but it can be changed out to any uh, armor light style, modern sporting style rifle grip there has polymer furniture up front and it has uh, QD points on this side here there's a QD hole there and there's one around here uh, you have QD points here on the back and on the other side on the back there it has M lock slots M lock slots here in your four grip it has three at three slots at the three, six, and nine position. You can see it there underneath there. Okay. Uh, oh, the barrel. This one particular one is a, uh, I believe it is a 16 inch, but it's chambered in 5.56 five, with a one in seven twist rate. It has a four prong flash hider there on the front, which is the barrel, the flash hider are melanite coated along with the BCG are actually melanite coated. And you can see that's not a regular sporting rifle style uh, BCG there. It's a lot bulkier there being that it's a bullpup design. It has an adjustable gas block up front and it can be adjusted for S, which means suppressed, or N, which means normal mode, which is unsuppressed. This particular one, being the 16 inch, is going to weigh eight, eight pounds even, and it can be adjusted from 28 inches, or 28.25 inches overall length to 29.75 inches overall length with the adjustment of the buttstock here. Uh, they do offer these, um, which this is the only one, this is actually used, I think they're hard to find, but they do offer these in the 18 and 20 inch barrel variants as well, which the 18 inch barrel weighs eight point, or eight pounds, three ounces, with a length of 30.25 to 31.75, again with adjustable buttstock. And the 20 inch variant, weighs eight pounds six ounces with a length of of 20 of uh, 32.25 and 33.75 adjustable with your stock there all right now these uh bull pups overall i don't know anything about this particular one but we're going to try it out here as far as the trigger goes bull pups are notorious to have bad triggers just by design 
but we're going to show you again. The trigger, the chamber it, or the uh, mag well is empty. You can see my fingers there. There's nothing in the chamber. I can fill up there. And if I have to put the magazine in in a moment, it is empty as well. But I don't think we'll have to. So we are going to put this on fire, point it in a safe direction. And we are going to try this trigger. Okay, got some, this kind of comes on back to that wall there. Well, didn't do that right. Let's see, let's get a little deeper in there. Well, I think it, it broke and, and, or the trigger broke and it come off of the trigger gauge at the same time. So, we're going to try that again. All right, so here we go. Okay. And seven pounds even that's not bad for a bullpup design and the reason I say that is because if you don't know anything about firearms a bullpup design with the action being back here your hammer is actually going to be right here so instead of the trigger being right under the hammer it has a transfer bar that runs all the way down through here so if you're not understand what I'm saying about that it's not anything to do with the firearm itself it is all bullpup designs have that transfer bar. Okay, right at seven and a quarter. We're gonna see if we can hear that reset on this one. We're gonna check that here. Let's see here. Okay, here. Eight, eight, um, I know my wife probably never has really dealt with bullpup, <laughs> but you can hear, you can hear the reset back here. So you know, that, you know, like I said, even you know, she's never dealt with a bullpup. You know that the trigger and all is back here because that's where it's resetting from. I think it threw her off when she heard that. She was waiting <laughs> for it to come up here. And, all right, let's try it one more time. Seven, seven and a quarter. And what is this last time going to be? Uh, right under seven and a quarter. So seven to seven and a quarter is about where you're going to be. And I'm going to mess with her one more time. <laughs> That's where the reset comes from. I was from. ready that time. <laughs> All right. Well, this is a, um, a neat little firearm, something different. I always like different firearms. Uh, well, I, I like to look at different firearms. Uh, I've never shot anything like this. never even shot a bullpup. So that's something that uh, I'll have to do one day. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed this video, little tabletop review overview of the Springfield Hellion chambered in 556 it is a bullpup variant of the Springfield uh, 556 line or uh, you know that well their modern sporting rifle line but this like I said this does take a few modern sporting rifle accessories you can put on there but you kind of have to you know look and make sure that that's gonna fit because everything is not gonna fit all right well remember that Life is good and God is great. Come back to see us in all four minutes to be thunder. For I have learned to be content in every circumstance. That comes from Philippians 4.11. God bless you and God bless America.